Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my Marco eggplant. Now, this is so delicious. It has chicken mint, obviously eggplant, got a little bit of spice. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, so to get started, you wanna make sure that you've got all your ingredients ready to go because this is quite a quick cook. So first of all, I'm gonna turn my wok up on a high heat, like so. Now, I'm gonna get that really nice and hot. I've got some vegetable oil. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil and get that really hot, okay? Got 500 grams of chicken mince, so once that gets hot, I'm gonna start adding that. But while that's heating up, I've got some spring onions here, and then just thinly run my knife through it, so it's a really fine cut. All right, so the oil is now heated up. Now I've got my metal spoon here. I'm just adding the chicken mince. That's the noise you wanna hear. While that's cooking, I've got some ginger and a little bit of a mincer here. So I'm just gonna grate, finely grate, about a teaspoon and a half of fresh ginger. The great thing about using one of these things is you do not get any of the skin on it. So there's a little trick for you. While I'm still got the ginger, I'm gonna add some garlic as well. It's another quick way of mincing. And I'm using three cloves of garlic for this. Okay, so I've got the ginger and garlic here. Gonna add it all in, like so, and give it another stir. Okay, time to add our shallots. Now I'm gonna save about one for garnish, okay? So keep one aside that you've sliced. And now next part is about the most famous emoji out there, the eggplant, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the top and we're just gonna make some quite big cubes using the eggplant. All right, so I've cut my eggplant. Now I'm just gonna add that to the dish. Give that another stir. Okay, so now that's all going and that's on a high heat time to add in a lot of our flavoring. So I've got some Shaoxing wine here, just about two tablespoons of that. Got just a bit of a glug of soy sauce. Chicken stock, I've got just over a cup of chicken stock. Adding in that in. Now, white pepper, a must. Here I've got some bomb ass chili, literally, that's what it's called. So I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of it. Now this is totally optional in terms of how spicy you want it to be. Um, so add leisurely. So I'm using palm sugar today and it is rock hard. What's rock hard? Clarissa. You can use alternatively brown sugar, honey even, but I'm gonna use about, what is it? About a tablespoon or so of sugar just to balance out the sweetness. Okay. Now, because I'm in a bit of a hurry, I'm going to put a lid on this, which will mean it'll just get it happening a little bit quicker, okay? Okay, so this has been cooking for about 20 minutes. Now, just to finish it off, I'm gonna add some sesame seed oil because it's got just a beautiful nuttiness and flavor. Okay, you don't need too much because it's quite a strong flavor. Turning off the heat. Quick little stir. Now you can serve this with rice, but today I'm gonna to be serving mine with some egg noodles. I guess this is kind of the like Asian version of like spaghetti bolognese maybe. So just adding that now on top. As you can see, the eggplant is nice and cooked now. Yum. And now listen, you need to finish this off with some more chili oil. It is just so delicious, okay? Like that. Now this is spicy. So if spice isn't your thing, just maybe get a less intense chili oil. And now I'm just topping it with some fresh shallots. Okay, just for a little bit of freshness and crunch. Okay, and there you have it. Only took me 25 minutes, my Marpo chicken with eggplant. Be sure to try it out, it's so yum.